Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mikey Two Hands video. Today we're going to be showing you how to put together a cocktail bar for your home just like this one. So stick with me and I'll show you how I put it together. Cheers! Okay, so the first thing you want to want to do is get onto Facebook Marketplace or similar platform and look for a second-hand cabinet. Uh, try to find one that's more of an antique cabinet made of uh, heavier wood. Uh, don't go for something like an IKEA cabinet that's made of uh, lightweight chipboard as it won't be sturdy enough or stable enough. So if you can find uh, an antique-looking cabinet with two big doors on the front, uh, that'll be great. Uh, the specs I'm going for is about 1.1 metres high by about 1 metre wide and about half a metre deep. Uh, if you can get a cabinet like that, um, even one that like this one that I've found, uh, it's got a shelf on the top which I'm going to take off, um, but the rest of the cabinet looks great, uh, so it's going to be my uh, donor cabinet for this project. So I managed to get that cabinet for just $150, uh, so that was a great deal, and I've already taken the, uh, the top off it, uh, but as you can see, it's left a couple of holes on the, uh, the top surface, uh, which I'll cover up when I put a um, bench top over the top of it. So I just need to dress it up now um, and repair a bit of the woodwork at the back, uh, which was usually facing the wall. So I just have to replace the skirting and also a panel across the, uh, the top uh, part of it. So I'll just cut those uh, pieces of timber to size and uh, just stain them. I actually used uh, spray paint on this occasion. Uh, I just used some brown uh, coloured spray paint and uh, that was a quick and easy way to uh, match the colour to the rest of it. Uh, now just using some Sally's No More Nails, I just uh, secured those pieces of timber in place and just used a couple of screws from the underside uh, to make them stick. Now while I'm waiting for that glue to dry, I'm just cutting a couple of pieces of aluminium angle and I'll use these for the edge pieces to cover up the uh, joins in the uh, aluminium sheet. So I got this aluminium uh, sheet from a building supplies uh, company and it cost $140 for a sheet that's 1.8 metres long by 900 uh, mils uh, high. And that's a fish scale uh, design and uh, that'll come up really good. Uh, but as you can see, it just needs cutting to size. So I'm just going to use some good quality uh, scissors to cut that. And as the aluminium is so thin, it cut through pretty easily. Uh, but if you've got some tin snips, uh, you may find this is easier to use. So just cutting two uh, pieces for the side panels and uh, one piece for the front panel. Uh, just double check that they are the correct size when you um, sit them on the cabinet. And I'm just now need to prime those. I'll be using some uh, aluminium priming paint along with some epoxy enamel uh, satin black uh, paint as well to just finish it off. Now when you go to prime your uh, aluminium sheets, just take your time. Uh, make sure you do the first coat, just a light coat. If I zoom in here, you can see that there's a little speckledy uh, consistency of the paint as I've just done a light coat as the first coat. Uh, Spend about 10 minutes in between coats and then do another coat, uh, flick the, uh, the panels over and do them uh, spray paint from a couple of different directions just to get a really uh, quality cover. And using backwards and forwards motions on the uh, spray paint, keeping the spray can upright at all times and that'll save you getting spatters. Uh, so once you've got your primer on and let that dry uh, for about an hour, uh, you're ready to do your top coat. So using my satin black paint now and going from side to side, uh, just a light coat once again for the first coat, waiting uh, 10 minutes in between coats uh, just to let that the previous coat get nice and sticky and then uh, do another coat and this will avoid you getting runs in your paint. So just take your time and make sure you get good quality coverage. Once you've done uh, the tin one way, flick it over to the other side and uh, do the uh, paint again from another angle and that'll make sure you get into all the little divots and uh, nooks and crannies. Okay, so once again we're going to use Sally's uh, liquid nails or sometimes it's called No More Nails uh, and that's just an adhesive that uh, is great for all types of uh, surfaces. So uh, we're just going to put a liberal amount of this onto the, uh, the timber of the cabinet and then we're going to press down the, uh, the aluminium sheet on top of that. Uh, now once you've got good coverage uh, all over, up around the sides, down the middle and on the, uh, the front panels, uh, just place your, uh, your aluminium sheet into position carefully 
uh, make sure you've got the pattern uh, the right way around. Uh, and this occasion, I wanted to use the fish scale in sort of an upward direction. So I just had to remember when I put the side panels on, I got those in the same direction as well. Uh, so just placing that uh, carefully into position now. Uh, and just watch those edges of that aluminium because obviously they're quite sharp. And you don't want to get any glue on the outside of the aluminium. Uh, so using clean hands and uh, make sure that your uh, paint's nice and dry as well before you start pressing it down. Uh, if it's still sticky, you're going to leave finger marks on the paint. So give it a good 24 hours to dry. Uh, press that into position uh, and aluminium uh, being quite uh, bendy, it's going to pop up. So you're going to need something heavy just to weigh that down so it uh, and gives the adhesive time to uh, stick all over. So I've just used something that's handy. Um, some a bag of dirt and a couple of uh, watering cans just to hold that aluminium tin down. Uh, now, doing the same on the sides, once you've got that in position, uh, let that dry for 24 hours as well and let that adhesive really uh, stick on. And uh, once that's dried on both sides, uh, it's starting to come together quite nicely. So now I'm ready to put the, uh, the aluminium uh, angle iron on the uh, the edges. As you can see, the uh, the corners where they meet has got exposed uh, sides of the aluminium. So just by using some of that uh, neat aluminium angle, uh, that'll just uh, cover those edges up and give it a nice finish and uh, save anyone getting cut on those sharp edges. So once again, using the Sally's uh, No More Nails and a couple of blobs of that and that uh, held it into place just nicely. Um, while that was drying, I didn't want them to move, so I've just uh, grabbed a piece of uh, rope and tied it around, and that'll just hold those uh, angles in position while that adhesive dries, and once again give that about 24 hours. So with the sides on now, it's really starting to come together and look like a bar. Uh, now I've just got to finish it off. Uh, this bench top I've got from my hardware shop for about $100. Uh, so together with the cabinet, $150, the aluminium siding for $140 and the bench top, I'm around $450 all up uh, for this project at the moment. Uh, now just to finish uh, off this bench top, I'm going to cut a section out to uh, have a little work area to make the cocktails in. Uh, and that will also give me enough room to overhang at the front uh, so people can sit up to the bar. So just using a drop saw, I've just marked out that section that I want to cut out and carefully cut out that uh, area. And we'll just uh, do the sides on that with the drop saw and um, that will make nice uh, clean cuts. So I'm just going to use the handsaw here just to finish off those cuts and get right into the corners so uh, we don't overcut. And that section can get thrown away and now the bar area, uh, the bench top is starting to come together. So with those new cuts I've made, I'm just going to use an iron-on uh, adhesive edging uh, and that will just uh, cover up those cuts I've made um, and keep that nice and watertight and sealed up. And just using a craft knife, I can cut off the, uh, the excess So now we're ready to stick the bar top onto the surface and once again I'm just going to use some uh, Sally's No More Nails or Liquid Nails as it's called and, uh, and adhesive of that to the uh, top of it and then just from the underside I'm just going to screw about six screws up from underneath into the uh, bench top and that will just really secure it into place. So carefully placing the bench top into position now and giving myself the uh, required overhang so people can sit up to the bar and, and without their knees hitting the front of the bar. I uh, just have to put that into position carefully. Uh, you'll get a minute or two before that adhesive really starts to stick and, uh, and then you can measure it and just make sure you've got it just where you want and once again uh, put some weight down on top of it uh, just to really get that adhesive to stick. Once again, I'm going to leave that for about 24 hours and let that adhesive stick uh, along with those screws I put underneath will make it really secure. So there it is, uh, my home cocktail bar uh, made out of an upcycled uh, cabinet and using some aluminium sheet uh, to really dress it up and make it look great. 
Um, so just to finish off the bar where I've uh, cut out that little work area, I've just used a little rubber mat uh, that you can buy from your hardware store uh, just to finish that look off. And inside the cabinet, uh, I've just used some uh, fairy lights on a battery uh, just to uh, light up the inside there, uh, make it look a bit better. And on that side, I've just used uh, some leftover aluminium angle to create some uh, wine glass and cocktail glass hanging area. So that's it. Thanks for uh, watching another Mikey Two Hands video. Uh, stay tuned and I'll actually uh, put together a couple of videos on some of my favourite cocktails uh, that I'd like to make, uh, including Mai Tais, uh, Zombies and uh, a couple of other ticky cocktails that I like. So if you want to see some more of those, uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and be sure to uh, tune in for the next Mikey Two Hands video. Cheers. Good.